everyone. Hello. Welcome to another episode of this Let's Play with Slashy McStabby and the Khajiit crew. Here's Slashy. Here's her crew. So far, it's just an ego. But hey, we're doing good. We're level three, I think. I am Adventuring Hedgehog or just Hedgy. Um, this is a mod that we accidentally stumbled into. This is the town of something. Amber Creek. Um, and we are working on the, the quest, Welcome to Falscar. We did not mean to run into a whole like mod that has a whole new area with quests and everything, but we just kind of did accidentally because I installed mods a long time ago before I ever decided to do a let's play, but I never played with them. Um, because I was playing, I was streaming, um, a Twitch stream from my Xbox, so I was doing that, a pretty much very lightly modded game, and I didn't even remember what mods I had loaded when I went to do this Let's Play series, so, so there's that. <laughs> And I forgot to turn I HUD, HUD off again, so I don't have a HUD. Because I don't know what in the world switch on. The controller that I'm using shows you the HUD. So there's that. Anyway, this is episode four of our Let's Play. And we have to go tell the Jarl. That's, that's an inn. That's the blacksmith. We have to go tell the Jarl that uh, something is going on. I just hope nobody tries to conquer us. You and Baldur's already have that one covered. Okay, so they know about Skyrim, but I don't know where we are. There's a general goods store in relation to Skyrim. I have no idea. I just know we're not in Skyrim. This must be the Jarl's. Longhouse. I have important news for the Jarl. If you say so. Do not dread, Milhar. You will grow up to be a great warrior. I am sure of it. But only if I keep practicing. I'll go do that right now. Okay, little boy. You're weird. Um Wait, don't don't walk away. Do you do? We found Macarius. He says the bandits are working for Yingvar. What? What led him to believe that? Such a statement cannot be taken lightly. He overheard them talking. They got orders from Yingvar to capture him. This This is bad news. It could very well mean the start of another war. Great. Thank you for bringing me this information. Please, accept this token of my appreciation. I hate to ask more of you. You have already saved one of my people. But I don't have much choice. Long ago, when there was war between my family and the Yunvaldirs, there was a group of monks that served as our wise men and court wizards. They have since retired to a simpler life, but their roots are still there. They may know what Ingvar is up to. Please, go to Balen Priory, to the southwest, and talk to Brother Thorlov. See if he knows anything. Okay. Wait, stop walking away from me. Brother Thorlov, I have to say. No, I want to ask you questions. Okay, now I can't ask you any questions. All right. That's a little annoying.
Oh. Okay. Well, since we're going to be here for a little while, I assume... Sorry, Risad. We started out with the intention of building up our strength so we could go do this. I guess we still will, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. Shall we go to the inn now? Oh, there's an apothecary. Oh, no, that's the general goods. Duh. I was here before. <laughs> Hi. Ooh. Falskar Bounty Ledger. Let's see what this says. Your current bounty in Falskar is zero gold. Good to know. Okay. I guess that's good to know. Well, I can't get to her. It's very good, sweetie. One day you'll be just nonsense. like Clara. You really what? think so? Thanks, Dad. What nonsense? I, I'm just trying to get to you because. Do you need something? Uh, what do you do for fun around here? Oh, a few things. Mainly talking with friends, or joining them in song and dance. I also enjoy taking walks along the Amber River. It's so relaxing. We even used to spend time at the hot springs up river, though lately nobody has gone there much. Something is off. It feels so dreadful. Other than that, I sometimes read, though I also think cooking is fun. And I often give lessons to Varina. She's such an adorable little chef. She's getting pretty good, too. What was that about the hot springs? See ya. Oh, darn it. Recently, the springs have felt off. It's hard to explain. You go there, and there's simply a feeling of dread or misery. It's usually so bad that you want nothing more than to leave and get away. It only started recently, but I haven't a clue what could be causing it. If you looked into it, I'd be in your debt. We all would. The springs are something this town has enjoyed for a long time, and it would be wonderful to be able to visit them once again. Find and remove the source of the dreadful aura. Ooh. Ooh, how can I get to Skyrim from here? I'm afraid I don't know. I've never really been outside of Amber Creek much, and I don't even know if any ships still sail from Falskar. Oh. Heard any rumors lately? Oddman says his cattle keep running off. A rather odd problem, if you ask me. It's not really a rumor, it's just something a guy told you, but okay. Safe travels. Oh, we've got an enchanter and an alchemy lab. I cannot use either right now, but you know. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's see. There's Borvald. I don't know if that's significant yet, but there it is. And Stalgard. This map is pretty big. How long am I going to be here? <laughs> Balin Priory, that's where we need to go. I'm not complaining. I think this is interesting and it'll be good for a Let's Play because it's not something I'm familiar with. So we get to do explore this and learn together. It's fun. Oh, and here's the hot springs. Let's go there first because it's closer. Mm. Let's take a jog through town first. See if there's anything else we need to be aware of. Mm. There's a stable. Hello, horsey. Oh, there's more horsies. Okay. Borvald, Balin Priory, Docks, Northern Pass. Alrighty. Greetings, traveler. Do you think we could do it? Sure. We just have to take out the back wall and expand the fields to the south. Getting more livestock would be great. Plus, Farina and Willard love playing with the ones we already have. Then it's set. We'll just have to save up a bit. Hopefully this harvest goes well and we can make a good amount of corn. Okay, for a second, I was like, when they're like, do you think we could do it? I was like, ooh, is this a plot? And then they're just talking about expanding their acreage. Okay. Look at all the wheat. I'm taking this wheat. Hello. Thank y'all. Hello. Okay. Trouble? No trouble. I wonder if they still get dragons around here if that's only a Skyrim problem. Riverwatch Hot Springs is this way. All right, cool. Since we don't have a HUD, it's good to know. Do I have a pickaxe? I need to wait for that general goods store to open and sell some stuff. That's what I need to do. And I've done a circle. Okay. I think I just discovered a mute button on my microphone that last time I said I didn't have. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm amazing. Well, I am just a little hedgehog and I have a very small brain. So, you know, <laughs> I can't be expected to understand these big concepts. All right, let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. I just hit no. <sighs> Hi. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Svea. What have you got for sale? Uh, a bit of this and a bit of that. A number of this and like this. We only have a few. 
Oh. Let's see. Time to sell some stuff. Oh good, she has a lot of gold. Because I need to unload all this stuff from my inventory. Oh, I forgot to check if this was better than the um, iron helmet I just sold. Seven. Damage eight. All right, longbow's going. That's an ego, so I better give that back to him eventually. Why did I give that away? Because I never use those. Excuse me. at us headed to level four let's see <clears throat> I'm not planning on being a mage because I'm a monk Let's see, does she have lockpicks? No. She does not have lockpicks. See, what did I just sell to her? Oh, that one is better than the iron helmet, okay. Mmm, wait, she has backpacks.
think I want this adventurer's backpack. Let's see how much it is. <coughs> oh, not bad. Can I help you with anything? Actually, yes. A man recently came to town and he spoke of treasure. The thing is, what he's looking for belongs to my family. When this town was founded, the blacksmith took the first chunk of amber that was extracted and made it into a large ring for my family. Recently, however, we had to sell the ring. If it's just lying somewhere abandoned, I would like it back. You can ask the man staying at the Amber Mead Inn, Harold. But please, if you find it, bring it back to me. When was the ring sold, and why? It was 15 years ago. I was a young girl then. But I remember that day, Amber Creek was having a hard time getting by. A merchant came through with a great wealth to spend. My father saw an opportunity and decided to sell the ring. He didn't want to, but he had no choice. He gave everyone in town some of that money and kept us all out of truly dark times. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. Um, <clears throat> why exactly did your family have a giant ring of amber? It was the first of the amber ore that was extracted from the river when the town was founded. The blacksmith took it and in honor of the town's success crafted my family a great suit of armor with the ring attached to the back. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. What armor? You can see the chest piece up on the wall there. It has been worn by my family in every battle I've ever fought in. It broke my father's heart when we had to sell the ring from it. It's not only a symbol of our family, but of our entire town. It would be great to have it back. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. Do you know where the ring might be? No. If I had any idea, I would have searched for it long ago. The merchant best of Hollywood sunk in a terrible storm. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. That's good. See ya. <clears throat> See ya. Oh, there's the chest piece. Oh, that looks like a normal piece of armor. Okay, let's go. Looks like we got some stalls here, but nobody's set up to sell. Oh, Inigo, you're so cute. I need to talk to you. What is on your mind? <laughs> I hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange. Oh, Inigo, now I can't see you at all. What's next? We will get you a better helmet. All right, now we're going to the hot springs. Oh, we have to ask the guy in the tavern about the ring? Something like that? Good 
morning. Not you. What do you want? I used to know a song about the Khajiit. I don't remember it though. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I think it's you I need to talk to? Yes. What do you know about the Amber Ring? That I need it, and it was in a ship that sunk. If only I knew where that ship was. Okay, I had some questions about the right, ring. I'll answer as best I can. Um, what do you know about the Ember Just Ring? That it was sold to a merchant many years ago and then lost. Ask Wolf at the docks. He may tell you something useful. And please, if you find it, bring it to me. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. <laughs> what do you need the Ember Ring for? I used to live in Helgen with my wife and kids before it was destroyed. What? Everything Destroyed? We gone, save the clothes on our backs. We tried living out of the woods, but I could barely catch enough for us to eat. I'd heard rumors about this ring of amber. If it's really as big as they say, it would be worth a small fortune to the right people. I need that money to feed my family and rebuild what we once had. Anything else you'd like to know? So you're hinging... I to get back to. You're... Let me get this straight. You're hinging your whole family's future and fortune on a ring that you heard sunk in a shipwreck. Okay. So you want to steal the ring for yourself, is what you're telling me. No. They sold the ring. It isn't theirs anymore. I'm not stealing it from anyone. I'm simply putting it to better use than sitting at the ocean floor somewhere rotting away. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. All right, I'm Just please try to find it quickly. I must get back to my family. I'm not giving it to you, dude. Okay. I think we went down this way and then we found a sign for the hot springs. Yep, hot springs this way. Hmm. I think right just curves back to the same town. Yeah, we want to go this way. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So how is everyone today? I hope you're all having a fabulous day. I'm okay. I am obviously still a little sick. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not. Um, hopefully not. Because I basically went like a week without recording an episode because I was waiting for my voice to be better. So annoying. I've just had this crud. I don't know what it is. It's not COVID. It's not a cold because I keep having a fever off and on. Um, okay. It's just really annoying. Oh, I see a wolf. I see two wolves.
Come here, wolves. Where are they going? Oh, I forgot and I sold those wolf pelts and wasn't supposed to sell those. Because I keep track of how many wolves have, uh, have attacked me by wolf pelts. I didn't know who that was for a second. Can't see his little face. Okay, we're near the hot springs. Anyway, yeah, so I've just had like a really sore throat, like a really sore throat. And a... Um, a, f a fever off and on and a cough and ho I'm, hopefully I'll get all the cough coughing edited out of the episodes <laughs> well we're in the hot spring it's really nice here Um, and it's been like 10 days and it just like my fever keeps going away and coming back going away and coming back fortunately it's been low grade but it's just like WTF I don't understand you know why this is going on so much Oh, here we go. River Watch Hot Springs. Ooh, and some Nirn root. This is so pretty. Find and remove the source of the dreadful aura. Okay. Nothing behind the waterfall. Oh, there's a cave right here. 
Inigo, where are you? Oh, here he is, okay. Uh-oh. I hear voices. Oh. Dudes in robes. Thank you, Inigo. I apparently was having real trouble moving for some reason. Like I was two steps away from that dude and I could not get close enough to him. That was weird. That's a cool looking skull. Conjure skeleton minion. <laughs> Watch, I end up becoming a half mage. Nice pose. Excuse me. Oh, what's this? Hi. Found you. you didn't find me, I found you. Empty chest. Their robes aren't even very good, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna take them. Oh, okay. Nice. Poor little fox. Chest. Oh. 
Oh, Inigo. Read letter. Victus. Go now to the ruins below the springs, where the drummer once roamed. There is a chamber off to one side. You must cover up the entrance and make it secret. Place the crystal in there while you use it. That way, if anything goes wrong, it will not be discovered and we may retrieve it later. Burn this letter after you read it. Oh, he didn't do that. Oh, this is where we were. We must have missed the hidden room. Okay, so we want to go up and to the right. Where? <laughs> this is quite nice for a king. Huh. This is where we were.
what's this? Aha! <clears throat> nice, we did it. And here's another chest for our trouble. So hopefully nobody was screaming at me that whole time about that little lever that I didn't originally see. <laughs> Sorry if you were. Okay, so that should stop or start people coming to the hot springs again. Turn to town now. Ah. There we go. I still get mixed up between the Switch controller and the Xbox controller. And then I'll go play my Switch later and get confused about the buttons because I've been playing the Xbox. <laughs> Okay, that house horse just walked back to his little thing. Um, okay, so we're going to go turn this quest in, and then that'll be the end of the episode for today, because it's been running long. Because I've just been so involved with what's going on. I need to set an alarm so that stops happening. <laughs> Let's see, where was I? The general goods store or the, and was that who I was talking to? I think so. Nope. You're Svea, not Clara. you anything you're not Clara either who the Clara I mean who is Clara 50 gold to rent a room jeez All right, we're going to turn this quest in in the next episode because I don't know who Clara is. 
Um, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks to everyone who watched and everyone who watched the whole thing especially. I really appreciate you. And I hope you had a good time with our crazy Khajiit crew doing the hot springs. Yeah. Um, thank you, everyone. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Well, that's it from me then, Adventuring Hedgehog. Have a wonderful day.